Hey, uh, welcome to the next video of the HTML Bits series. Uh, so the next problem we will look at is XNOR gate. So this uses an XNOR gate, uh, which is an XOR gate followed by a NOT gate. So first we need to go into what is an XOR gate. So here is the icon for an XOR gate. So it looks a lot like an OR gate. So well, let's just compare these three gates we've seen recently. So the AND gate. So the AND gate has a, a flat straight back and then a, a curvy front like this. The OR gate has a curvy back compared to the AND gate has a flat back. Right now the XOR gate looks like the X it looks like an, like an OR gate with a curvy back, but then it has this extra line just behind the curvy back. All right, so this is an XOR gate. So let's write in XOR, and let's make that a little bigger. All right, so this is an XOR, and let's add in the, uh, A and B. All right, and let's add in the OUT. All right, um, so how does an XOR work? So XOR is interesting. If you change either of the inputs, it will always change the output. No matter what the current inputs are, changing a single one of the inputs will always change the output. If both inputs are zero, the output is zero. If you change one of the outputs, the output will become one. And if you then change the other output, it will go back to zero. Let's look at the truth table. We change one of them, it changes to one. So we change the A from 0 to 1. All right, we can also change the B from 0 to 1, which gives A equals 0, B equal 1. The output is 1. Now we change the other one. We change the A from 0 to 1, and this goes back to 0. So changing any input on its own will always change the output, flip it between 0 and 1. Uh, so basically, what is an XOR? So XOR stands for exclusive or. Basically, if either of the inputs are 1 but not the other, then the output is a one. If both inputs are the same, both zero or both one, the output is zero. If the inputs are different, the output is one. This is an exclusive OR. All right, how do we write an exclusive OR in Verilog? Well, assign the out equal A and then this little hat B. Right, this symbol here is the symbol for an exclusive OR in Verilog, this little hat symbol. All right. All right, so that's exclusive OR. And then what about XNOR? So an XNOR is an XOR followed by a NOT. So let's take this and put it into a new slide. And just as before, we can just add a little circle onto the end, uh, which represents NOT. So if I put this little circle up here, all right, so this is an XNOR. So it's an XOR followed by a NOT. So if we took our truth table for an XOR and paste it here, let's call this A XOR B, like write it as though it's Verilog. All right, so A XOR B, when they're both the same, the output's zero, when they're both different, then the output's one. And XNOR is simply the opposite. Like basically when they're both the same, the output is one, and when they're both different, then the output is zero. So let's write that in. So to write that in Verilog, similar for the XNOR, we're simply going to put a NOT in front of it and put the XOR in brackets. So the bracket says, do this calculation first and then do this. So we first do A, X, or B, and then we do the NOT. All right, so if we take A, X, or B, which is zero, and we do NOT, we get one. We take A, X, or B, which is one, then we get zero, and if we take the X or A, X or B, which is zero, then again, we get one. All right, so basically the X nor, which is this last column, not A, X or B, is one when the inputs are the same, and zero when the inputs are different. All right, I think that is all you need to know in order to solve this problem, so let's have a look. Uh, yeah, basically, you have two ports, input ports A and B, one output port out, and you need to make sure that out is assigned the value of A, X, nor B.
All right, so let's go to the pause slide. And so now please pause the video, attempt the problem, and then once you want to see the solution, then unpause the video and we'll go through the solution. Okay, so I'm going to assume you've either attempted the problem or you just want to see the solution, but either way, we're now going to go through the solution. So the solution is simply exactly what we uh, uh, covered here. Basically, we're just going to do not A, X, or B. So let's go to here. We're going to do an assign, continuous assignment, out, equal, so A, X, or B, and then we're going to do a not in front of that, the little tilde symbol, and then we can submit that. All right, there we go, success. And then if we look down here, we've got A and B. Whenever they're different, so here there's zero and one. When they're both the same, the output is one. When they're both different, the output is zero. So here they're different, the output is zero. Here they're different, the output is zero. Here they're the same, the output is one. Here they're the same, the output is one. All right, there we go. All right, so that's the end of uh, this video for the XNOR. So if you've got any questions, then please put them in the comments. If you've got any comments, also put them in the comments. If you liked this video, please click like. Um, please consider clicking on subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.